thing with being in love with someone that you're not with is that the longer that you stay in this condition, situation, the more you create stories about this person in your mind, about how a life with this person would be like, and your mind is naturally going to give you the best possible scenarios. So you're just going to end up falling deeper and deeper in love with this person that you're not with. This is something that you really have to be cognizant of because the longer you stay in this condition without taking care of this problem, the deeper and deeper you could fall for this person and, and, and get into being in love with this person, the deeper and deeper you fall into it. If this is a person that you're not with and you've gotten to the point where you're in love with the person, more than likely you perhaps got to know the person over time or perhaps you're acquainted with the person in some capacity and you did not let the person you, you, you seemingly did not pursue this person or you did not ask this person out again you, you have to this is one of those situations where it is so much better to take the chance of asking someone out if they're Obviously, you wouldn't know if you don't if you don't know whether they're available or not. Obviously, asking them out will let you know, or perhaps through conversation you can find out. But the point here is just taking action before you get to a point where you've built up so much about this person in your mind. You've created so much about them, so many stories that now you're in love with the stories that you've created in your mind. Which is so so it's always so much more important and crucial that you act on how you're feeling about someone earlier on instead of just thinking okay somehow I'll just wait this out perhaps this is a friend that you have and or an acquaintance and you you've liked them since day one and instead of asking them out or instead of talking to them in a romantic capacity and shortly afterwards asking them out or Hang, finding a way to hang out with them or letting them know how you feel about them. You just allow the relationship to persist. You allow the friendship to persist. You allow the acquaintance relationship to persist and you never took action. And now perhaps this person is no longer available because somebody else took action. Or perhaps you've gotten to a point now where you're so crystallized or you're so solidified in being that person's friend or that person's acquaintance that they can't see you as anything else. But unfortunately, in the process of this time passing by, where you've liked this person romantically and you didn't do anything about it, you've made yourself or you've allowed yourself to fall in love with the person. This has to be a lesson to you that you have to take action. You have to take action earlier on. You cannot sit back and just think, well, I'm just going to build a friendship with this person or an acquaintance relationship and hopefully they'll start falling for me. Something else you also have to consider is if you're in love with someone that you're not with and let's say this person is available for example the problem now that you've created is you've built them up so highly that even when you have in your mind that even when you have the opportunity to do something about this maybe ask them out or ask them to hang out with you. You're not taking that step because you've created this person to such a level. You, you've built stories in your mind about this person to such a level that you're terrified about, well, if I ask them out, what if, what if they, don't, they don't agree to it? And now all these dreams will be crushed. So sometimes we can actually get attached to how good the stories that we've created in our minds are about this person that we're in love with that the reality of actually asking that person out freaks us out because we worry that if we do it, it's not just the rejection we're fearful of. It's that if we do get rejected, those stories in our minds will come crashing down. Because part of what keeps those stories alive in your mind is the prospect or the, the idea that one day you could actually date this person. But now that you've built this up over, over time and you're in love with this person without actually having taken action earlier on, you might even be that much more fearful to take that next step, even if this person is available, because there's a part of you that's addicted 
to how good you feel whenever you, you think about these scenarios and you dream up these stories in your mind about this person. And so to some extent right now, you might actually be more in love with the stories that you've created in your mind about this person that you're not with than the reality of what it would actually be like to date this person. 